when I'm in the air, I feel at peace. Uh, I feel like it's my, I just, I enjoy being up there. It's a whole different view. You don't realize it until you actually, you know, a couple thousand feet up in the air. What started out as a simple Christmas gift from his dad, Patrick has now stepped into his father's shoes, training to become a pilot. And the most memorable step along his journey was the day he did his first solo flight. I will never forget that day. I, the adrenaline was just going. I mean, you, you get in the airplane and you look on the right seat there and you realize there's no instructor there, like this is all me. And uh, definitely a little nerve wracking, but you know, I managed to pull it off, I did it okay. And uh, that's something, that's, I can't describe the, the feeling you get when you land that airplane by yourself. It's just your heart is pounding, your adrenaline's going, it's just a rush, but totally, totally worth it. As with operating any motorized vehicle, there are precautions that are taken to ensure a safe and fun aviation experience. First thing is you gotta sign yourself out. And then uh, you walk out here, you look around, you look at the windsock there, figure out what one's the active runway. And you just kind of, you know, when you're walking towards the airplane, just visually examine it, see if you no notice any dings or dents or anything like that. Well, it's all done on a checklist. And you just go through the checklist and it tells you what instruments to check, what to look for and what to expect. Um, you check, you know, the oil pressure, the RPM, you know, make sure everything's just set just right. You just make sure that everything's where it's supposed to be. Um, that all the gauges are looking okay and then you turn the master on, you crank the engine up. Patrick's instructor has been flying since she was 16 and is also a part owner of the flight school he attends. I started gliding at the age of uh, 16 and uh, did my glider license through cadets and then moved on to do my par private power license through cadets through their six-week program. Um, and then after that, it was something that I decided was what I wanted to do as a career. See, it's really enjoyable to actually see students that come in with no knowledge of aviation and, and work their way through doing the private license and the commercial license and, and getting to the level that they want to get to. Jeanette's husband, Mitchell, made the trek from Ontario to BC as well and performs the general day-to-day -day activities of the couple's flight school. Well, we came out here originally from Ontario. Um, BC has a slightly nicer climate than Ontario does for flying. We can pretty much train all year round, which is a, a nice bonus. And then Chilliwack, I think, is ideally situated in the valley here because we are an uncontrolled airport and it uh, provides a really quiet and easygoing atmosphere for students to start to learn as opposed to some of the busier airports closer to Vancouver. Needing just over 35 hours to solo flight in order to obtain your private pilot's license, Patrick yeah, hopes in time to receive his commercial license, but is very happy in the meantime. Eventually I'd like to go for my commercial license and, uh, you know, eventually one day hopefully become an airline pilot, but you got to start somewhere, right? So it is a little expensive, but you know what, if you really, you know, if you really use your resources, you can afford it. From the Chilliwack Airport, I'm Roger Myers reporting for Shaw TV.